Hey, what's up guys? It is Lan from Variety Gaming 101 bringing you a very special video. So, um, today I have checked out this software that I wanted to install on my chip computer that I ordered a while ago and should be getting this week. It's similar to something that's like Raspberry Pi but a little bit more budget and has different features and different things like that. So, uh, it's the program like you see on the title here called Pirate Box. Let me explain a little bit about what it is first and what I'm doing with it. So Pirate Box, for those of you who don't know, is a offline, it creates kind of like an offline hotspot or like an offline wireless access point. So people can see on their phones or their laptops or whatever has, whatever has a wireless card that there's internet on something, like there's a, a Wi-Fi hotspot. When they connect to it, it will redirect all traffic to your Pirate Box, uh, whatever device so see in this case it's my old S3, Galaxy S3. And, um, They'll be able to use a chat, a file service thing, and an image board, which I haven't got to work on the Android app yet. I don't know how to do that. Um, that's like kind of like a 4chan kind of layout with nothing on it yet, though, of course. So. Uh, so what's cool about it, what you can do is you can either leave, like, go somewhere and go in a public place and have it in your pocket or and just see how many people connect to it and see if there's a chat, see what they talk about, see what people up, files people upload, they can share things, things like that. And it's all offline, so there's complete anonymity. Anonymity, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's really cool, so let's get started here, shall we? So I uh, basically to get um, to it, so it works great on old phones, anything that's an Android. There's not you can't install it on anything like iOS because you know they don't allow things like that. But uh, on Android, you must have a rooted device. Just so you know, if you don't have a rooted device, it's not going to work. So here's my Android. There's the Android being the Apple there. So here is let me just one second here. Let me open up the app really quick. Here it is. Here's Pirate Box. So I'll basically there's different settings and stuff, and you can see Pirate Box is running. So someone developed this app and basically I wanted to share it with you guys because it's really cool. <laughs> so um, the Pirate Box doesn't have all the features that it does and like if you're installed on like a Raspberry Pi or something and have a battery. Ooh, oops. So let me show you here. So you can go to your settings and then you can see all the different settings like if it, if it allows iOS devices to access your domain name which it'll use, different things like that. So it doesn't really matter, Most left most of it default. So then here's my new phone, my Note 5. If I go on here really quick, one second. Um, let me just close my web browser just so I can show you guys what it looks like when you first type in here. One second, close that tab. Okay, so you go to new tab here. Then it'll, you see like your regular thing here. Then I go here, and then if I type something like Google.com, it'll go to Pirate Boxes thing that you set up. So it says welcome. Now, first of all, there's nothing illegal or scary going on here. This is social place, blah blah, and it tells you what's going on. I don't have the form working. I don't know how to get the form to work on Android. I don't know if you can, but I really wanted the form. But I'm gonna wait till I get my chip computers. I'm gonna make videos with that. So then you got your. You can upload files. So I can choose a file. You can take a picture. You can use a voice recording. You can upload different files and you can send it. Then you can browse files that are on the server, which are on my phone here, which is basically the other phone, which is basically the server. Then you can see the directory and see all the files that are on there. You can see that six people have connected. That's funny because I only had three devices connected, so most other people must have connected in the meantime because there's six connected there in total. My friend there says. Uh, he was. He said, "Hey, hey, Lamau," and then he switches his name to Cockfiend420. <laughs> so you can set your username. It can be anonymous or whatever. Then you can set different text colors, etc. It's really cool because what would be awesome to do, I think, is if you set up something in disguise or like set up a one of the Raspberry Pis and put it in like I saw someone made one. They put it in a hollowed out book and then they left it in a library and then. You, they like, just see how many saw how many people connected and watched it. So it was pretty cool. I think I really want to check out the image board because it's just like. It looks, it's like a forum basically, it works really nicely, so I thought I would show this to you guys. You can check it out, I'll put a link to Pirate Box's website in the description. I just thought this was really, really neat, because it's like, you can share stuff and do different things. You can also, there's also um, mods or plugins you can get for it on the, the Raspberry Pi and Linux versions, where you can get, um, like, different things, like, so you can, like, stream audio and stuff to other people. It's really, really neat, really neat. So tell me what you think, guys. I'm going to put the link in the description. Tell me what you think about this and what you would do with it. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope that I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.